Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown, where tonight, the new World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, is back for the first time since WrestleMania as he takes on one half of Alpha Academy, Chad Gable. How will McIntyre prepare for John Cena at Backlash on April the 16th? Will he secure the victory later tonight on SmackDown? And also kicking off tonight, it is match one of few in the Eliminator Series for the United States Championship number one contendership. Dexter Loomis, Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, who will move on to the finals to possibly become the number one contender for the United States title. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Well, as advertised, we kick things off tonight on SmackDown with an open challenge by Rey Mysterio for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And it looks like Axum from NXT is making his arrival on SmackDown tonight to accept that very challenge. Formerly known as A-Kid, has appeared on SmackDown before, but went down to NXT to retrain his craft, if you will, don this new look, this new mask, this new name. And this young man is back on the blue brand tonight in hopes to take down Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Rey Mysterio, of course, retained the gold back on Saturday night, February 25th at WrestleMania against Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar. Mysterio back in action tonight for the first time since then and wanted to come back to SmackDown in a huge way. An open challenge that we now know is answered by that young man, Axum. It's gonna be a great night here on Friday Night SmackDown. Thank you for joining us for week two of WWE 2K23 Universe Mode on the road to April the 16th. The live premiere, the Backlash pay-per-view from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And here comes the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Rey Mysterio won the gold back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble against Ricochet. He retained the gold against Ricochet yet again just a few days later here on SmackDown. Since then, he has retained over one half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, and as we mentioned, took down Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar at WrestleMania. Mysterio wears the Cruiserweight Championship loud and proud once again in his career, and he has been on a roll ever since January the 1st of this year. What a big way to kick off what is gonna be a very championship influence night on SmackDown. In your main event, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre takes on Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Plus, we will begin a three-match series, the United States Championship Eliminator, to determine who will be Gunther's first challenger for the United States title that he won back on WrestleMania Sunday. All that and more coming your way here tonight on the blue brand as we get set for your opening contest. The WWE Cruiserweight Championship on the line tonight. We are live from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Rey Mysterio, the greatest mask of all time. The master of the 619 puts the gold up in the open challenge against the debuting and returning, if you will, Axum from NXT. It is mask versus mask. This is gonna be an epic Cruiserweight affair here in Grand Rapids, Michigan tonight. Stage is set. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom! And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio! Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Big fight field to kick us off on Friday night. SmackDown Axiom, Rey Mysterio for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship of the World. A title that has been held by so many greats. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho, Dean Malenko, Rey Mysterio himself. Will Axiom add his name to that rich history or Rey Mysterio retain the gold yet again here tonight on the Blue Brand? 
The bell has sounded and we are underway with your opening contest. What an opportunity for Axiom tonight, accepting the open challenge of Rey Mysterio as he takes him over into the bridge immediately, trying to defeat Rey off the opening bell, but not just yet. Rey Mysterio has been pushed to the absolute limits, tore the house down. Axiom goes for the cover again. Tore the house down against Santos Escobar at WrestleMania. What a matchup that was. Rey Mysterio survives everything in the kitchen sink that Santos threw at Rey, but at the end of the night, Rey Mysterio left Tampa Bay, the Cruiserweight Champion, and Axiom right now trying to tap out the champion to win the gold off that arm bar. Rey able to get out of it. Now, wait a minute, small package here. Axiom wants this win, and he's looking for it early. A couple of close falls. Axiom's just trying to catch Rey Mysterio off guard here tonight. Ray has fought with the best of them, not only throughout his 21-year WWE career, but just in the last few months as the Cruiserweight Champion. Now Axiom sending Ray into the corner. He has been a house of fire since the opening bell. Look at him go here. Tornado DDT, and the champion is down and out. Axiom, maybe the kryptonite to Ray Mysterio's championship reign. Frog splash off the top rope. Will that do it? New champion, not just yet as Ray gets the shoulder off. And how many pinfalls and submissions has Axiom gone for since the bell sounded just a few moments ago? He is trying to get Rey Mysterio and get him down for that three count as soon as possible tonight. He saw Rey Mysterio go the distance with Santos Escobar at WrestleMania. Axiom does not want to find himself in a man who has been in deep waters numerous times throughout his career. Rey Mysterio has fought with the best of them. Axiom throwing everything he can at Rey tonight, but he cannot allow Rey to start building momentum. And there's a cover by the master of the 619, and Axiom able to get the shoulder up at the count of one. Oh, wait a minute here, Rey Mysterio. Rey shooting Axiom off, and Rey is going for the kill early. The 619, and it connects. Rey not wasting any time. Exclamation point maybe coming on the matchup. Frog splash on Axiom there, and the foot break, or excuse me, the rope break, the foot underneath the ropes may have just saved Axiom's chances of becoming Cruiserweight Champion. Man, this has been pedal to the metal since the opening bell. Axiom with an onslaught. Rey Mysterio decided to try to cut him off with the 619 frog splash combo, which would keep any normal man down, but Axiom saved by the ropes there. And this Cruiserweight Championship matchup rolls on at least for another moment. Axiom better be thanking his lucky stars of his ring positioning off that 619. And look at this, stacking up Ray, trying to steal the Cruiserweight title now. What a matchup this has been. Axiom trying to roll up Ray Mysterio there, almost similar to how John Cena rolled up Austin Theory last week here on SmackDown to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And fighting Drew McIntyre at Backlash on April the 16th. Meanwhile, Axiom's got Rey Mysterio on the top rope. This is not looking good for the champion here as a Spanish fly from the top into the cover. And that's going to do it. Rey has taken a lot, not just yet. Rey has absorbed a lot of punishment since this matchup kicked off just a few minutes ago. Axiom has not slowed down even through the 619 and the frog splash combination by the cruiserweight champion, which is really all Ray has had to throw at the challenger tonight. Down on the outside, Axiom suicide dive to the outside. Ray Mysterio may have put himself in a corner tonight off this open challenge, allowing any competitor to scout Ray ahead of time. Ray did not know his opponent coming into this matchup. And it may have been the mistake that is going to cost Ray the Cruiserweight title here tonight. Win, lose, or draw. This has been a showcase of all showcases for Axiom tonight. You're going to remember that man in the red and gold for years to come. Ray has got to get back into this matchup, but he's got to get back into it now. And there you go. There's the reversal by the Cruiserweight champion, but he has taken a lot of offense from the challenger tonight. Will Ray be able to get back into this match? Through the 619, the frog splash, and oh, wait a minute, he's got Axiom on the top rope here. What's Rey Mysterio looking for? Splits the legs. Bulldog! Mysterio 
reaching down on his bag of tricks. We have seen him put superstars away with that very maneuver before, and that'll do it again tonight. Well, Rey Mysterio had to get into survival mode in this matchup. Axiom threw everything in the kitchen sink at the challenger tonight. And after the 619 and Frog Splash did not do Rey any favors, the Bulldog from the heavens lets this matchup come to a close. Still the champion, Rey Mysterio. Here's your winner, and still the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Rey. Ricochet, Humberto Carrillo, Santos Escobar, add Axiom to that list. Rey Mysterio is putting together a hell of a resume as he continues on his reign as the WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, the next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Sunday night, April the 16th in Minneapolis, the WWE Backlash Pay-Per-View, which already multiple matches signed the Friday Night SmackDown main event determined last week. The franchise John Cena is looking for number 17 as he takes on the chosen one, Drew McIntyre, one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight title. And what about the Raw main event that was announced this past Monday? Loser leaves Raw, hell in a cell. Matt Riddle, Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. These two men, their long storied rivalry comes to a close finally inside hell in a cell. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes took to Twitter. He had this to say, having a successful return to SmackDown last week felt good, but losing at Mania is still staying. Theory, I saw you fall to John Cena, which means you have backlash wide open. What do you say to round two in Minneapolis? Cody Rhodes lost to, excuse me, lost at WrestleMania to Austin Theory. The Theory, of course, fell to John Cena in the number one contenders matchup last week. Cody may have gotten the W against Johnny Gargano, but he wants his win back against Austin Theory. The challenge has been thrown out. Will we see Cody versus Theory 2 in Minneapolis? We will find out in due time. We are set to continue here tonight on SmackDown. One half of the Viking Raiders, Eric taking on Mansoor here tonight on Smack. Oh, wait a minute. Mansoor slapping Eric in the face after he didn't want to shake the hand, and that has fired up Eric. Well, nonetheless, this matchup continues, and we do want to address the Viking Raiders, formerly a part of Monday Night Raw. However, ladies and gentlemen, their contracts with the red brand expiring, and we can tell you, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders officially a part of Friday Night SmackDown. Only one half of the Viking Raiders out here tonight. Eric, except for this one-on-one -on -one affair against Mansoor. Mansoor rocking a little bit of a different getup. Looks like he's, this is casual tonight. Nonetheless, that slap in the face might have just pissed off one half of the former World Tag Team Champions. Of course, we saw the Viking Raiders compete in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. One of the Monday Night Raw Tag Teams, they fell in that tournament to Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Now, a part of Friday Night SmackDown, I'm sure the Viking Raiders are looking to start off a new era in their career. One a little bit more violent, one a little bit more vicious. Of course, the tag team champions Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, although those tag team titles do float between both brands, they find their individual homes here on SmackDown. So I'm sure Eric and Ivar would love to cross paths with the new world tag team champions. Nonetheless here, Mansoor, he is getting the beating of a lifetime before our very eyes here on SmackDown tonight. Gut wrench suplex by Eric. Mansoor just trying to roll out the ring to get his wits about him. But I think that slap may have just ticked off one half of the Viking Raiders. Mansoor may be feeling a little bit unlucky tonight with a draw of this opponent. As Eric continues this matchup against Mansoor, what about the news we just found out moments ago? Again, Cody Rhodes throwing out the challenge to Austin Theory. It was Cody Rhodes' return at WrestleMania not going his way, an unsuccessful return, a loss to Austin Theory. And of course, last week on SmackDown, Cody Rhodes back on the blue brand. He defeated Johnny Gargano. Austin Theory, however, lost to John Cena in the number one contender's matchup for the World Heavyweight title. Cody Rhodes seeing that, realizing Austin Theory now has backlash wide open, and he does not want to move forward with his Friday Night SmackDown career until he can right that wrong in his mind that happened at WrestleMania. So Cody Rhodes throwing out the challenge. Will Austin Theory accept? Will we see? Theory versus Cody. 
the All Day Superstar versus the American Nightmare round two. Will it happen in Minneapolis at Backlash? All well, remains to be seen if Austin Theory is going to step up to the plate and take down Cody Rhodes again. Tell you what, it was a hell of a matchup at WrestleMania, one of the best matches of the last year. And Austin Theory may have gotten his hand raised, but it did not come without a few battle stars. That's for damn sure. We'll have to wait and see if we are going to see Rhodes and Theory run it back on April the 16th at Backlash. But let's focus on the action inside of the ring right now. Eric and Mansoor continuing this one-on-one -on -one affair here on SmackDown. Still to come tonight, one half of Alpha Academy's Chad Gable set to take on the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. Of course, Otis of Alpha Academy fell to the debuting Braun Breaker last week here in the Blue Brand. So I'm sure Chad is looking to get some good momentum into the corner of Alpha Academy. And Mansoor with that kick on Eric might have just punched his ticket to victory. Well, not just yet. Alex did not go for the cover. And Eric with a striking kick to the back. You might be able to count to 20. You probably find Mansoor's spine in the second row. That's a victory for one half of the Viking Raiders. A dominating one at that. Eric and Ivar officially a part of the blue brand, and Eric starting off the momentum of the Viking Raiders on the right track. Here's your winner, Eric. Eric's picking up a singles victory tonight, but will the Viking Raiders be eyeing up Ricochet and Ali? for a future shot at the world tag team titles. Well, the action continues here tonight on SmackDown as Carmella goes one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Rodriguez, plus the returning Tyler Breeze takes on another returning superstar in Noam Dar. And the results of those contests see Raquel Rodriguez getting the W against Carmella here tonight on the Blue Brand Plus. In a matchup of returning superstars, it's Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze getting the victory over Noam Dar. What's going to be next for Tyler Breeze here on SmackDown as he was officially drafted to the Blue Brand a number of weeks ago? What well, is time for the first United States Championship Eliminator matchup here tonight on SmackDown. The triple threat between Dexter Loomis, Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode. And of course, coming up next week here on Friday Night SmackDown will be the second Eliminator matchup for the United States Gold. Jinder Mahal, Johnny Gargano, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. What a matchup that's going to be. The winner of these two triple threat matches will meet in the finals to determine the number one contender for Gunther's United States Championship. There's an eerie feeling coming across for SmackDown right now as Dexter Loomis is... He's always creepy. At the end of the day, Dexter owns a recent victory over Happy Corbin. You remember back in February at Saturday night's main event, Falls Count Anywhere, a matchup. The third matchup in a series between Dexter and Corbin. Dexter tapped out Corbin on that night. Will he carry some of that momentum all this time later into the United States Championship Eliminator? But here comes a man who may have fallen to John Cena at WrestleMania, but a new opportunity is on the horizon for the glorious Robert Roode. Here's tonight on SmackDown. Robert Roode has held the United States Championship in the past. He has also held Tag Team Gold, also a former NXT champion. Robert Roode, again, he may have gone down swinging at WrestleMania against the franchise John Cena, but now continuing on his path here on SmackDown, Roode wants another shot to become the United States Champion. And imagine Robert Roode going one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Gunther for the United States Championship. If you like Root or not, that would be one hell of a matchup and quite possibly could be in the near future. But first things first, Root's got to get through this triple threat matchup tonight against Dexter Loomis and the show-off Dolph Ziggler. Two other highly motivated competitors. And especially, I think we got to put some emphasis on Dolph Ziggler, a man who has been chomping at the bit for championship gold for months here on SmackDown. Had an opportunity at the World Heavyweight title back in January 
unfortunately came up short. But will this be the opportunity for the man coming your way next to show off Dolph Ziggler to regain some championship gold? A former United States champion himself as well. Dolph Ziggler makes his way to the ring. It is triple threat time here tonight. And from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler walking to the ring with purpose tonight. He looks a little bit more focused than usual. Again, Dolph has been highly anticipating championship gold coming back around his waist for months here on SmackDown, but unfortunately has blown a few opportunities. Last time we saw him compete for a championship was back at Elimination Chamber in January against then World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins, unfortunately coming up short on that night. But will tonight be the night that Dolph Ziggler moves one step closer to becoming a champion again? Another former United States champion in this matchup, and he's got to get through Robert Roode and Dexter Loomis to do so. It is match number one in the United States Championship Eliminator. One fall to a finish, triple threat match, and we are underway. And again, the winner of this will meet the winner of next week's matchup between Johnny Gargano, Jinder Mahal, and AJ Styles. Six men, one opportunity. Gunther awaits his first challenger for the United States Championship. He, of course, won the title back on WrestleMania Sunday against a man who is now a part of Monday Night Raw, that being the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is going to be chaos, I assure you, between Dexter Loomis, Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode, three very different competitors, as Dexter Loomis here tries going for the drop kick, but I think Roode took the eye of Dolph Ziggler away, and Dexter's, well, home plate wasn't there, if you will. Again, one fall to a finish. No eliminations here. Hell, no countouts, no disqualifications either. This thing ends when some shoulders are pinned to the mat for the count of three, or we hear a tap out. Only one man can move on to fight the winner of next week's triple threat matchup, and inevitably there can only be one man challenging Guther for the United States Championship. Dexter dropping Robert Roode at the neck breaker there. Again, Dexter one-on-one -on -one with Happy Corbin back at Saturday night's main event in February. It was a big win for him on that night. All these men have kind of been Riding a roller coaster over these last few months. Some wins here, some losses here. So I got to say, this is probably an even playing field when it comes to momentum. It's all about a new opportunity. It's a new year in WWE after WrestleMania, and everyone's looking to start a clean slate. And Ziggler goes under and takes Dexter Loomis down. Nice vintage classic and basic but effective takedown by Dolph Ziggler. Robert Roode taking a fight to Dolph here. Again, Robert Roode, you remember he picked a fight with John Cena leading up to WrestleMania. Robert Roode wanted to see his name in the lights on the grandest stage. He targeted the franchise John Cena, and unfortunately for Roode, came up short when the lights were on bright. But tonight, tonight for Roode to get back in the driver's seat if he can become one of the finalists in this number one contender's eliminator. Nice German there, but you see, it's hard to get momentum in a triple threat match like this. Rude with the German suplex on Dexter Loomis, had his back turned to Dolph, and now we see Dolph Ziggler with the momentum as he goes for the cover there. And that's another difficult situation in these matches. It's hard to get that pinfall. You always gotta watch your back, gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Wait a minute, Dolph Ziggler going for the sleeper hold on Dexter Loomis here. Dexter taps, Dolph's moving on, and there's Robert Rude to break things up. Now Rude takes down Ziggler with the neck breaker. Dolph getting to the outside, trying to regroup by himself here. Rude gonna focus his sights on Dexter Loomis. And as this triple threat matches progresses, ladies and gentlemen, we wanna remind you that the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, April the 16th, we'll be live from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It is WWE Backlash. Several matches already signed for that event such as Monday Night Raw's WWE Championship. Loser leaves Raw, hell in a cell matchup. The stakes couldn't be any higher as Matt Riddle takes on Randy Orton. Meanwhile, Dexter Loomis inside of the ring. We're gonna choke out Robert Roode and move on to the finals of this Eliminator right here. And Roode able to break up the submission hold. Also, of course, coming your way at Backlash. Courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, the franchise player John Cena defeated Austin Theory last week 
And he has earned the right to fight the man we will see in moments in your main event, Drew McIntyre, for the World Heavyweight title. Another matchup coming your way, courtesy of Monday Night Raw. What about the five-man elimination challenge to determine a future challenger for the WWE title? Whether that be Riddle or Randy Orton holding the gold after Backlash. Already signed for that five-man eliminator. At bat, wait a minute, Dolph Ziggler here to win this eliminator tonight, and Rude gets the shoulder off. Already signed for that five-man matchup at Backlash, courtesy of Raw, Kevin Owens, Karrion Cross, Bobby Lashley, and Brock Lesnar. The final participant will be determined this coming Monday night when Seth Rollins, who is now a part of the Red Brand, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Okay, that's back to the action inside of the ring. Robert Rude going for the submission hold here. A bit of a cross face on Ziggler. Dexter broke things up. Extremely difficult to get the momentum and stay on the upper hand in this match. Oh, wait a minute, Rude, glorious DDT to Dexter Loomis. With Dolph Ziggler right there, making sure Rude can't even get a one count. That is the danger, and that is the downright headache of a triple threat matchup. Rude would have possibly had Dexter there had Dolph Ziggler not been in the equation. Now Ziggler off the neck breaker, trying to rule the ring at least for a moment. And again, as this triple threat match once once to continue, ladies and gentlemen, we also want to remind you that channel memberships are officially available. One of the special perks of joining the channel and becoming a member are bonus Universe Mode episodes, which kick off on the eve of Backlash, April the 15th, Saturday night, a special WWE live event that will feature Gunther defending the United States Championship and so much more. The only way to see that will be becoming a channel member. Again, the first bonus Universe Mode episode comes your way. Saturday night, April the 15th, available now. Just hit the join button down below. Dolph Ziggler, Dexter's dazed. Robert Rude, nice counter on the show off there. Rude, nice neck breaker, takes down Dolph. And a close on out of the ring, down goes Dexter Loomis here. And Robert Rude, at least evening the score for a moment, this becomes a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Rude goes for the kick, Ziggler with the counter. Now Dolph goes behind. Simple but effective Russian leg sweep. An elbow to Dexter. And now Dolph is suddenly once again ruling the ring. Ziggler, I thought he could even go for a super kick here, but Rude has other plans, trying to roll up Dexter and steal the victory. But Dolph breaks things up again, and there's Rude taking out Ziggler. Absolute chaos and anarchy. Here tonight in Grand Rapids, triple threat matchup. Only one man can move on to the finals of the Eliminator. Now Dexter with a headlock, cheap shot on Rude. Trying to choke out Dolph on the ropes. Dexter, a very strange and unusual competitor inside of that ring. Offense like, o like no other, that is for damn sure. Ziggler trying to use the ropes, scale his way back to his feet. As Dexter focuses sights on Robert Rude into the cover here to move on, and Rude gets the shoulder up. Dexter almost had it. That might be the closest we've had to a conclusion in this matchup. As it has been chaos all the way through. Rude going for a neck breaker on Dexter. He's able to avoid it there, at least for a moment. There's a counter by Rude. Back and forth, these two men go. Oh, wait a minute. Dexter Loomis trying to bring Robert Rude back down again to tap him out here. No, Dolph Ziggler's right there. Robert Rude down. Dexter into the cover. Rude is down and out, Ziggler, oh wait a minute here, Dexter now takes down Dolph and goes for the submission hold. Robert Rude is out of the equation, Ziggler could be getting choked out here, and that's the bell, that is it. Dexter Loomis tapping out Dolph Ziggler, and he is moving on to the finals of the Eliminator. Well, Robert Rude is pissed, Robert Rude is furious not even being involved in the equation and losing an opportunity to challenge for the United States Championship. That's got to sting more than anything. Here is your winner, Dexter Loomis. Well, no matter how Robert Roode feels about it, the result is the result, and Dexter Loomis picks up the victory here tonight. Coming your way next Friday night on SmackDown, Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze is in action yet again as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the returning Legado del Fantasma leader, Santos Escobar. What a matchup that is going to be.
Also coming your way next Friday, it looks like the Viking Raiders have caught the attention of the World Tag Team Champions. It is singles action between the Viking Raiders Ivar and the one and only Ricochet with, of course, Mustafa Ali in his corner. It's going to be an awesome week next Friday night. Two big matchups already signed on the road to April the 16th at Backlash. But as for tonight in Grand Rapids, it is main event time here on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Well, as Alpha Academy makes their way to ringside, I want to remind you, coming up on April the 16th at Backlash, the Friday Night SmackDown main event, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the new champion, Drew McIntyre, puts the gold up for the first time against the man aspiring for number 17, the franchise, John Cena. What a matchup that is going to be. Remember back in December, John Cena defeated Drew McIntyre right here on SmackDown to earn an opportunity at the world title back at the Royal Rumble. Gotta wonder if that's gonna be playing into the psyche of McIntyre in the lead up and of course on the night of Backlash. But nonetheless, the world champion's gotta stay focused because he's got one hell of a competitor in his way tonight at Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. But nonetheless, for the first time since WrestleMania, he is the new World Heavyweight Champion. Drew McIntyre is back on his brand, back on SmackDown. The sword in hand and of course the big gold around his waist. The chosen one realized his destiny in Tampa Bay, Florida. McIntyre on the road to backlash is back here tonight on SmackDown. And his opponent from Ayers, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. What a year of trials and tribulations it has been for Drew McIntyre. You look back at where McIntyre was a year ago today to where he is now. Loss after loss in big match situations has finally led Drew McIntyre to getting his head on straight back in the main event, realizing the dream of a lifetime. And the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold belt is now in the grasp of the Scottish Warrior. And quite frankly, there's no one more deserving. We saw McIntyre make his way through the elimination chamber. We saw McIntyre take down a man who we are speculating was operating on a whole nother level, Seth freaking Rollins in the main event of WrestleMania. John Cena proved himself worthy challenger, but will he be enough to take McIntyre off the top of the mountain? Come backlash. That is then and this is now and right now McIntyre's got his hands full with Chad Gable of Alpha Academy, of course Otis watching along at ringside. McIntyre with the size and strength advantage, but Chad Gable certainly knows how to chop him down to size. It's gonna be a hell of a main event. It's been a great night on SmackDown. And again, already signed for next Friday night. Legado Del Fantasma, Santos Escobar set to go one-on-one -on -one with Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. Also next week, one half of the World Tag Team Champions Ricochet takes on one half of the Viking Raiders, Ivar, plus the other triple threat eliminator in the United States Championship number one contender series as Johnny Gargano, Jinder Mahal, and the returning to SmackDown, AJ Styles all battle it out in that very ring. There's gonna be a hell of a week next Friday night. Cannot wait to see you there, but Chad Gable sends the World Heavyweight Champion over the top rope, snaps him down, and down goes the World Champion. Remember what we mentioned earlier tonight, Otis went one-on-one -on -one with the debuting Braun Breaker last week. And of course, fell to the big man. So not good mojo in the corner of Alpha Academy right now. Chad Gable trying to turn things around, and maneuvers like that can certainly Move him one step closer to doing so. Oh, look at that. Look at the strength of Chad Gable. A man of his size compared to McIntyre, of course. Chad Gable with a lot of strength. And definitely has what it takes to defeat 
the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Chad Gable reaching deep down in the bag of tricks. Not often we see Gable hit that somersault kick, if you will. By any means necessary to take the World Heavyweight Champion off his feet. Chad Gable clearly motivated and focused tonight. McIntyre's finding himself not only in a world of hurt, but quite frankly, in a world of trouble right now. Look at Gable. Gable's sunset flip. Thought he was going to go for the cover there, but not just yet. Oh, there it is. Chad Gable trying to knock off the world champion. What a win it will be, and McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Yeah, imagine if Chad Gable can defeat Drew McIntyre tonight, what that'll mean for Alpha Academy. Could that mean a future shot at the tag team titles, or hell, could that mean a future shot at the world title for Chad Gable? A lot of possibilities here, but McIntyre, kip it up. McIntyre won't go down without a fight, but there's Chad Gable going back to what works with that kick to the head. We saw John Cena earn his number one contendership for Backlash last week. We are seeing the world champion inside that very ring tonight. They will lock horns on April the 16th, but what will be the condition of those men, especially Drew McIntyre, if Chad Gable keeps up this onslaught right now? The cover again, almost getting the count of two that time, but McIntyre looking to avoid it. Another kip up by the big man, grabbing a hold of the smaller competitor, ragdolls him around, tilt to world backbreaker by the Scottish Warrior. A little collar and elbow there, Chad Gable. This four on to McIntyre. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Look at the strength by Chad Gable. Master Gable of Alpha Academy. The former Olympian. One suplex. Make it a dose. Make it three. Into the cover. Gable. Oh, rope break there. Saving Drew McIntyre. But Gable so close to knock it off the world heavyweight champion again. And McIntyre. I'm not saying he underestimated Gable tonight, but I don't think he expected this kind of athleticism and this kind of uh, aggression, if you will, out of Chad. McIntyre trying to throw anything he can to get back into this. He's got Gable down at least for a moment. Oh, wait a minute, gut wrench. Down goes Gable. McIntyre into the cover. Wants his victory and only a one count there. This matchup has pretty much been all Chad Gable on the offense since the opening bell. McIntyre heads to the second row. A little uncharacteristic for the big man, but the tomahawk chop takes Chad Gable down at least for a moment. Into the corner he goes. McIntyre squashes him in there. And the world champion starting to rally this crowd here in Grand Rapids. And Gable, has he spent himself in the early moments of this matchup? Or will McIntyre be coasting to victory tonight? I think that'd be naive to say is get Chad Gable certainly impressing us all tonight in this matchup against McIntyre. Not sure if Drew, as we mentioned, came in doubting Chad Gable's abilities or took him lightly, or maybe his head's just already in Minneapolis, Minnesota for that matchup with John Cena in a couple of weeks. But McIntyre's got to stay focused here against Alpha Academy's Gable as he takes him down out of nowhere with that kick again. But a kip up by McIntyre. Four on to the back which has to feel like a tree trunk, a tree branch, just landed on your spine as McIntyre fouls up with a kick. McIntyre is fired up. Gable's on the outside of the ring. Gable, dazed and confused. My goodness, here comes the big man. Drew McIntyre has got abilities everywhere he needs it. Taking things to the sky, up and over the top rope, and down to the floor, taking down Chad Gable. And the tides have certainly shifted in your main event tonight on SmackDown. Gable just trying to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, McIntyre lying in wait for Alpha Academy's master here. Now Drew unloading on Gable. Wait a minute. There's a couple of chops. Otis has got to be loving what he sees out of the coach right now of Alpha Academy. Belly to belly to McIntyre. Gable immediately into the cover, but again, not watching the ring awareness there. McIntyre saved by the ropes. Gable not watching where he was, but now he's on the top rope. This could spell the end. Picture perfect moonsault. Will that do it? McIntyre gets the shoulder up. 
Chad Gable is pushing Drew McIntyre to his absolute limits here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Triple suplexes, the German, the moonsault. Gable just throwing everything at McIntyre, but the world champion proving why he is on top of the mountain on Friday Night SmackDown continues to survive, at least for now. Gable in the corner, and there's a boot scrape by the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre running full steam ahead to take Chad Gable's eye off the prize. Gable able to avoid whatever McIntyre had in mind, but McIntyre grabs him again. Look at the strength throwing Chad Gable to the other side of the ring. Now there's a belly to belly Gable. Won't soon forget. And I think we know what comes next. Oh, he's going for the Claymore, but Gable sidestepped it. McIntyre was looking for the final nail in the coffin of this match. Gable avoided it. McIntyre outrunning Chad Gable there. Counter for counter. Duck wrench suplex, down goes Gable again. Chad Gable just trying to head to the outside to catch a breather. McIntyre gonna follow. Gotta watch Otis out there as well. This could all just be a ploy by Chad Gable to get McIntyre on the outskirts of the ring and then send him back in. Off his rocker there. McIntyre into the corner. Chad Gable could be looking to end this thing. There's a counter by McIntyre. A lot of reversals these last few moments. Neither man wanting to give an inch. McIntyre sending Gable to the opposite corner and the absolute power in that throw. And now McIntyre going back to the well. He wants that Claymore. He wants to hit and flush this time around and this time he does. Claymore kick to Chad Gable. And that'll do it. Gable avoided it the first time around, but there was nowhere to run. The Scottish Warrior had his eyes set on the prize, and he delivered. Claymore kick wraps up this matchup. Hell of a main event. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, McIntyre. John Cena is in the ring. The two men who will square off for the World Heavyweight Championship at Backlash coming face to face here tonight in Grand Rapids. Well, the road to Backlash continues to heat up. Thank you for joining us tonight on SmackDown. We'll see you this Monday night on Raw and next week, a loaded event on Friday Night SmackDown. Hey, so I'm gonna chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.